Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Destiny of an Emperor! Since last time, I rearranged my party as I have listed in the video description there. Most notably, I've given Chi Tu Ma to Zhao Yun, since he has even better stats than Guan Yu has, and I've also removed Zhang Fei from the active lineup, as we're about to try and capture Guangzhong Castle. For boss time against Yuan Tan, Yuan Qi, and Tian Feng. Now, Tian Feng is the most dangerous of the enemy generals here because he has really good intelligence and access to Yan Rei. So I want to take him out as quickly as I can while the other two just have pretty powerful physical attacks. I need to drop them below a thousand soldiers as soon as I can there as well. So what I'm going to do is use Yan Rei against all of them and then have my physical attackers use power pills against uh, Tian Feng to get him out of there as quickly as possible. Another thing that makes Tian Feng so dangerous, and this really applies to any enemy general, if they have more intelligence than strength, they are more likely to use a tactic in a given round of combat. Wow, look at that damage! But yeah, they're more likely to use tactics than if they have more strength than intelligence there. Once you get Tian Feng out of the way, then the rest should be relatively easy. We should be able to hit one of the two remaining generals per Yan Rei there. So we'll just keep going like that. Power pills and Yan Rei, that's going to be our bread and butter for this fight. Now, the reason why I removed Zhang Fei from the active lineup is because I wanted to have as many effective tactics users as I could, which at this point is Guan Yu, Zhao Yun, and Liu Feng, leaving two slots open for physical attackers. And even though Zhang Fei has... Yeah, why don't we just go all out here? Even though Zhang Fei has the most strength of any of my party members, because he doesn't have over a thousand soldiers, he would actually deal less damage than Wenwen and Yan Liang there. As we gain another level! So yeah, that is the thing with Tiger Generals, is that, yeah, they do get more soldiers, and they've got really good stats, but it does take them a little while to catch up to uh, generals that have a fixed number of soldiers. And for defeating them, we learned the Yinzian tactic, which is a multi-targeting healing tactic. It is really, really good. Although I don't really need to use that because we've gotten in right here waiting for us. Oh, yeah, I think I, I think someone mentioned the name of the castle earlier. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. We're not here to to kill you, we're here to liberate you from uh, Yuan Shao. Where is he anyway? I mean, we've already gone through a, a couple of his castles. How many can the guy possibly have? Well, let's find out. I'm not with him. Yeah, yeah. W why are you guys all so afraid of me? Hmm. Let's see over here. Oh, is another guy who is also afraid of me. Is there, like, a reason for this? I don't know. I don't think there is. Not like a plot thing or anything. But, uh, okay. So, we got the item shop here. I am not here to actually buy anything. I don't think they even have... Yeah, they don't even have power pills here. But I do want to sell... Uh, Yan Liang's tactic because I'm going to be picking up another one in the near future. So we'll just take that one out. And then to replace it, go to the second well in the castle, search below it, boom, we've got a saber that is even more powerful than a spear. Although it's not nearly as powerful as a trident, but it's still pretty good. Let me see how, uh, how powerful it is. Yeah, it's about 50% stronger, or 50% more damage than a spear, but still not even half that 
of the trident there. So yeah, we'll give that to you for now, and that ought to be good. Oh, provisions. Nope, we're good. We stole all the food already. Maybe that's why uh, everyone here is uh, afraid of us, I guess. Oh, okay. Well, I think someone was saying that might be where Yuan Xiao is. We should check it out. Uh, let me see. Okay, so I want to move Zhao Yun up one slot there since he gained quite a few more soldiers there. So yeah, my Tiger Generals are behind on soldiers for now. This will change in the long run. They increase their soldiers almost exponentially over the course of the game, but it does take a little while for it to really kick in. Okay, we got a historian here, but no palace to summon Liu Bei. Hey, how's it going? What do you mean, literally or figuratively? Or both. Hmm, eyes of Ganon are everywhere again. Hmm, well, in any case, that guy is talking about this guy. So let's see what we got. Yeah, I think we're uh, good to talk to this guy. Hey, how's it going? Oh, uh, so I have, I suppose. For boss time! What do you mean, you'll go to meet them now? Who's, who's them? You're not gonna tell us, are you? But in any case, all right, so mostly the same thing as the previous battle, except this time, let's see, we've only got one general to worry about. Oh, I should probably take a look at what he's got there. But, uh, well, he's got decent intelligence, but still not that extraordinary. He's not going to be very likely to use them. So, yeah, let's use Yanrei to take out the rebel forces, power pills to take out the general, and that ought to be good. Yeah, nice thing about uh, Zhao Yun, not only does he have the intelligence for accuracy, but also the strength for the damage of those tactics. So, yeah, but there's no more weapons to buy right now. It's going to take us a little while for everyone to catch up to the Trident. It's just so overpowered for this point in the game. We can one-shot a rebel force if I really wanted to, or we could just go all out, boom, he's dead. Hooray! Man, how many relatives does Yuan Shao have anyway? But we took out another one. Uh, I don't think so, dude. But, uh, okay. Okay, so we're done there, and let's see, at this point... Let me see what I've got. Well, I want to restock on Power Pills back at Bohai, but it would be faster to get there from Nanyang. So what I'm going to do is save up here and then reset and uh, reload the save file. And we're right back at Nanyang Castle. Hooray! Oh, and I suppose I should bring, uh, Jean Fei back there, huh? Let's see. Okay, yeah, so let's get Liu Feng's equipment back over to Jean Fei. Liu Feng is still useful for boss fights, at least for this chapter. But, uh, Jean Fei, think of him as a long-term investment. Another thing about Jean Fei is that you can't billet him at the headquarters there so if you really don't want to use him the only way you can remove him is by putting him in the seventh or sixth slot of your party formation but yeah you can't uh drop him off there at the headquarters but yeah why don't we rest up here and get back to bohai castle Oh, yeah, and I should probably uh, rearrange my party order. Let's see, with Zhang Fei, yeah, he should be at the front of the lineup now. Put Liu Fang in the reserves, and I think we're good to go. Let's try to get back to Fo Hai. And get through a whole bunch of bandits. 
Oh, these guys are lasting a little longer than I would have thought. Yeah, fortunately at Bohai, we don't need to go through, uh, uh, what is it, the lady blocking the path anymore. We can just go outside the castle, or enter and leave, and that worked just fine. At least with Zuge there, or, yeah, with Zuge there. All right, we made it. So what I want to do is restock on some power pills here. Unfortunately, Guangzhong is not considered a a gold wing point. So yeah, I can't use that to get back there. I'm just gonna restock on power pills and then we'll uh, get back over there eventually. But can we find Jizhou Castle? Find out next time on Let's Play Destiny of an Emperor. This is Ichi Bailey signing off. Have a good day!